seen like they they've both flopped and been successful. All right, here we go. Well, you can say up. that for every build. Let's see who goes to the finals. First up, we have the. These are the Manid Riders. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Manid Riders banner. is red team, and the Skyborn is blue. Yes. Uh, so Riders. Under the red banner, flying the Viking, a pyramidium being piloted by Skybox, Gatling forward, Gatling carronade forward with Banshee and Flare on the port side. They're also bringing the Triton, Goldfish being piloted by Arius. Up front, Watcha with carronade in either hand. And on the blue team, the Skyborn, we have the Skyborn <laughs> being piloted That's by not confusing. Sundstrom, who this week is not. Followed by a lot of other people called Sunstrom, so maybe a little easier to know who people are. <laughs> so, two Artemis, a Gatling, and two Banshees, fairly standard for a Skyborn at least. Standard? Gatling Yeah, top it's is the standard. standard build they, they like to use these days. And then we have the I'm, mm -hmm. for some reason, piled by Solid, Solidus Bucket. Uh, with an AI called Tanya, for some reason. But <laughs> they have a Gatling and a Banshee and another Gatling behind, so let's see how that rear Gatling works out for them. I think it could work if they keep it in mind. I think it's really easy to forget about it. Oh, Triton already yeah. losing the armor, but they're moving in. There's the Watcha not going to get anything done Grand at misses. all. So what's gonna happen here now, they missed a the ram. Yeah, they're gonna well, the turn. the Pyramidians are about to die. This Watcha is not getting anything done for the Triton. Now Gatling as a response. Not something they can really afford after losing armor already. Whoa! Whoa. Viking uh, pushed the uh, I'm into the terrain and he lost fair. Yeah, that was nice, but now the Gatling's gonna be going right into the engine column. Like, yeah, maybe you won't be able to target down a single engine, but just fire into the column and you'll get some good damage down. Viking going for the ram of the Skyborn, but the armor is down. Damage is too much. Viking drops. This is not the engagement that the Manid Riders want. There's the bump. I'm looking for the ram grinding right alongside the Triton. Rubbing that booty up against him. Here comes the Gatling. However, uh, the Gatling gets disabled, and now Triton, even though they're in a bad position, they were able to disable it, but here's the ram, right up against the geometry, almost able to finish it off. Once the armor drops one more time, I think that'll be it. Done. Two for O. Oh. I'm taking quite a bit of hull damage. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it, Solidus. Uh, okay. Oh. Took me. Solidus, shame on you. Shame on you. It took me. Took me a bit to clue into that. <laughs> but here's the thing um, the Viking missed the ram immediately, so they lost all the vantage. It's, it's just a shitty situation to be in as a pilot. You missed the ram and you're like, well, shit. Ramming, yeah, they decided to use... That, that's the danger, I think, inherent in using a ram as an engagement maneuver rather than a situational maneuver. And they're relying I'd on it say... pretty hard. Like, that's one of the reasons that the, um, that the carrot build works is, like, you're really reliant on rams. Hmm. And... Well, I'd say ram, you, you, you absolutely have to ram on a Pyramidian versus a Junker to try and kill this balloon. Because yeah. there's no way you're going to win a 1v1 versus a Junker. But yeah, absolutely. When it comes down to it, only ever ram if your ally is in danger, or you can, uh, or to knock enemy guns off target. Yeah, it's not what they're going for though. Instead, they're they're trying to use it as an engagement. But I mean, look what they're trying to ram. Like there's a mobula at the beginning of an engagement. Like they, the mobula is a very tempting ram target, but the balloon in the beginning of an engagement is going to be pretty high in health. Yeah, and it's also, they, they're just gonna, even if you ram them, they're just gonna fly double speed backwards suddenly. Yeah, Cause yeah. Because there's such a light ship. Yeah, and then you have the I'm with buffed engines. <laughs> yeah, right. You're never gonna ram that. 
Wow, this is uh, an interesting place to pause. Yeah, this is concerning. There are spots. Pause. So Triton and Viking are both spotted. Uh, but the I'm is still hiding up here. I love this little position. There's no way they're going to get spotted. So this could be good. This, this um, is what I mean. This is what I mean when I said that I hate playing with a squid because right now the skybone is just baiting so hard. Oh yeah, come totally. and fight me. It has to fly I'm alone high. here. <laughs> so I, I'm wondering, it's possible that the Viking and the Triton won't pop up for a good long while to try to balloon block a little bit. Uh, the Pyramidium probably can. It's probably going to rise up as fast as it can. Here we go. Unpause. The I'm is so ready to jump out right now. And the only question is which target is it going to go for? I think it's going to go for the Viking. That's the more present danger. The Carinade could pop the balloon to the Skyborne and then would just plummet to the ground. Do they have a Drogue shoot? They do. So it's not it's quite thing, so not dangerous. Going that way now. But the Huacha and the Rams are going to be very strong. So the I'm... Viking and Triton aren't taking the route that they exactly wanted. But they have the Gatling in the back. So not a huge deal. And they still have no idea. That oh, is terrifying. We here we go. Backing up. The I'm is making itself known. Kind of. It's possible they haven't spotted it. The I'm they does get see. the spots down. So Viking and Triton know that the squid has got to be somewhere. But they haven't gotten the spot on the I'm. Alright. He took the safe room. Yeah, a little oh, no. disappointing. I kind of liked his position. Well, I don't think that either of those ships actually saw the squid. They're kind of giving this up. It's been spotted. Jig's up. They gave it up. A Viking is getting targeted by the Gatling. I'm losing armor. God damn it. Viking. <laughs> not, the armor is not looking great. I was able to get it back up almost immediately, but the Triton is taking a while to come back in. Watcha. Does manage to disable a couple of guns. Does get the a, a light engine. But the Viking's going to drop anyway, and the Triton is suddenly in a terrible position unless it continues to catapult itself forward, and that's exactly what it's going to do. Gatling goes out into the armor, trying to disable the main engine. I don't think they're going to be able to get it, though. Triton's armor goes down. Doesn't matter too much, though, unless... Okay, it comes back up in time before they scrape the... Oh, no! They get stopped. They're stuck. This is going to be a kill. I'm goes for the ram. The armor drops, but they're going to be okay. They don't ram again. So they're going to survive it. Probably a little more bold than they needed. Hello again, Velcro, says Arius. Yeah. I missed you. Good old Velcro, which doesn't exist, but people think it exists because they lose balloon and then blame it on the terrain sucking them in. Well, they, like, they hit the terrain at a bad angle, and it stopped yeah. their momentum. Well, they lost Balloon. That's still a thing in the game. If you lose Balloon and Terrain, you're going to get stuck. It's not Velcro. So I'm moving forward. Yeah, that wasn't Velcro. That was just hitting Terrain at a bad angle. I'm coming in for a Gatling go and ramming the Pyramidian and getting nothing done and going past them. Boy, aren't I a genius. Watch into the engine column. There we go. Okay, okay. Are they were they just trying to sack themselves? Yes. Well, two two things come out of it. He's gonna get new um, the whole new ship back, and they actually know where the red team is now. Yeah, that was wise. All right, so now they know where they are. Yeah, Skyborn and I'm are moving right in. However, there's no Hades, so Skyborn's got to get in there. How are they going to do it, though? Are they just going to charge it? Are they Trying comfortable enough? Half his 
I think Somewhere. if Skyborn and I'm just do a straight up charge, they could easily win. So Triton and Viking <clears throat> need to be really careful. Triton is moving forward. They're exposing that big open side and they're taking hits. Not the way you want to yeah. start the engagement. They don't take too much. For some I guess. reason, he l he lost half his balloon before, and you can see he's not even repaired yet. So terrible place to be engaged. <laughs> yeah, I think they accidentally burnt some hydro or something. Yeah. Now I'm is moving over. It's a little hidey hole. Triton is all alone. I think the I'm wants to just lock it down, but that's a dangerous proposition with the Huacha. Triton's actually going to move forward. They, I think the I'm just wanted to try to stop them. They figured the Triton was going to move in on the Skyborn. Skyborn, very alone right now. The I'm has got to move in quickly. It does have buffed engines, so is that the oh okay? Or Triton's gonna back up. This I'm is a big down. mistake. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm it's. <laughs> Oh, this is the goofiest engagement I've seen in a long time. This Viking is moving forward on the Skyborn. Gatling, however, greased Gatling, gonna rip through that armor. They get the nudge before they lose their armor, but that's a very, that's a very small reprieve. The Viking is about to lose hey. its armor again. Done. Watch a hit, but no avail. Very questionable decision from Skybox. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what he was trying to accomplish.